Welcome to Omega Plumbing Services. I'm by myself. My sons are not working today. I have a small little job here. Uh, a woman called me up the other day, an elderly woman, and she's like, she needed help. And I, uh, anytime I get a call from uh, the certain area that I'm going to, I know that they're going to not like the prices. I'm gonna try to give back to the community. Sometimes I go there to this place and I'm like, no, I don't wanna get paid. And they will force money into my hand. Uh, like I can't give it back. So anyway, this woman has a problem with her washer dryer. She has a leak. I don't know if I could help her, but I'm gonna go there pretty much for free and see what happens because I have a little bit of time on my hands and it's not far away. Now, if it was like 20 miles away, it's a different story. This is literally in my neighborhood, so I had nothing to do, but I shouldn't say that. I had time, so I'm gonna see what's going on. We'll see what we find. So thank you for joining Omega Plumbing Services and uh, let's see what we, we meet here. My name is Pat. Apparently they are watering something. Watering. I don't know what that's gonna be. That's a lot of water. They planted something. I am looking for a certain space. I have no clue where I am. There we are. This is not it. Poor people, they didn't have money to begin with and then they got flooded out by this huge river. All right, we're getting close. Oh. I won't mention your name or anything. Okay. I... <laughs> Fixed. There's where it was wet. Okay, I just finished that job. What happened was, as you saw, I asked her, actually, before I went there, I was like, did you, she said, wash your dryer out in the thing. And I'm like, did you have those recently installed? She goes, yes. And I'm like, oh, it's probably something like that. So I kind of knew going over there wouldn't be too bad. You never know, but went there. Whoever put the washing machine hose on, never tighten it thoroughly. It could happen, obviously. Sometimes over time, you know, you tighten it and then it gets cold. Maybe it was hot when they did it, and, you know, and then it backs off. But can't be too critical of the last person in there. It may have been fine at the time. They left and it started dripping. But you got to be very careful because in the real world, if you have people not like that, but perhaps people that have, I don't know, a multi-million dollar home and that happens in, you may have a problem on your hands. So... Anyway, always make sure that's secure, nice and tight, anything you do before you leave. Because, uh, and if you touch something somebody else did, then, you know, that's another issue. That's another liability. Everything's about liability. That's why I don't understand why if you go into a construction trade and you say, okay, I'm going to do this house for you, you're married to that. And... When you're young, you kind of don't realize that and the contractors beat you up because of your ignorance. And uh, they fully understand it usually. I thoroughly understand now my liability and my issues and I am not going to go out and do anything unless I am getting well compensated for taking on risk because that's what it's all about, risk reward. It's just like in any investment, whatever amount of risk you have, relates to the reward that you get in the end. So the higher the risk, the more of the reward you should have. Low risk, low reward. Okay, I guess I was rambling. What I'm trying to say is uh, everything came out okay. <laughs> I tightened it up and I left. So she's all set. So little things like that. I don't see why we can't take care of the older people older generation. I could see, like I said, I can see if it's farther away or something like that, but if you, if there's the one plumber within a radius of, uh, you know, a few miles of each of these people that need help, I don't see why we can't go over there and help uh, them out. Like, you, you obviously can see they have no money. And so, it's like, why kick them down? Just, you know, take care of them. I didn't, I didn't charge them. I just get out fix that little thing, even if it was a little bit bigger. I mean, there, there's there's more things in life than money. You should take care of people. Anyway, that's what I think. Thank you for watching Omega Plumbing Services, and you have a great day.